Welcome back to the morning show, 725. It's Wise Guy Wednesday, and of course, Matt's selling along, and he's helping take some of the mystery and magic out of fireworks today. That's some fun stuff to show us. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, Matt, Matt had such a hard time with the first segment. And almost, almost blew his hands off. Right, so we'll we thought we'd be in here for safety using the buddy system. <laughs> When you're loading up system. a bottle, don't point it at yourself. Okay. No, that's what I can. Okay. So, anyways, the cool thing at the beginning of the fireworks, when you're when you're or before the thing goes off up in the air, is you hear this sort of big thunk. Right. You know, and what happens there is there's an explosion in a big pipe. I imagine it's a big steel pipe, and that's used to propel the actual firework up in the air. And you can figure out how high that goes by actually just counting. You know, so it turns out that all these things obey very simple kinematic equations. Mm -hmm. And so, if you want to figure out how high something goes, if you just count how many seconds elapse between the time you hear the thunk, you know, basically, and the time, if you're not sitting too far away, and the time that you see the thing blow up, you can kind of guess how high it is. What you do is you count the number of seconds, and you square that number. So you multiply it by itself. So, so if you there's had, math involved. Yeah, just a little bit of math. <laughs> so if it, was, math. if it was okay. five seconds, you would square it, it would be 25. Okay. 25. Okay. 25. Well, this is the, this is, I'm telling you, the oh, formula here. Okay. okay. And then you, you take the 16 and you multiply it by that number. And that tells you how many feet, roughly, so, it's going to so be. So 25 times 16. Yeah, 25 times 16. So if it takes five seconds, it's about 400 feet, something like that. Okay, so take okay. your calculators to the fire. Right, so, so anyway, so it, get, it goes pretty high. And the interesting thing is that the height it goes depends on the square of the speed that it has at the bottom. So if you can somehow get this, the initial speed that you throw it up with to be twice as fast, it'll go about four times higher if you can neglect it. So I have a question. The, the formula, then, is that, a, is that a constant no matter how big the charge, like if you've got a charge say <laughs> this big shooting this ball up and then a double sized charge and it shoot the ball up faster and farther or does gravity take over and it's a well it depends thing? on how the charge is loaded up and stuff like that okay. but if you just measured the speed that's how it would kind work but anyway okay. so i saw in the fireworks it's like, it was kind of interesting there was one part where they would shoot these things up at different angles mm -hmm. but they would all go to about the same height and you had this curtain of color and stuff yeah, like how that how do they do how do they do that is so that, they, is they that have to, to figure do? out the speed yeah so there's a lot of physics involved in this so what you do is if you shoot something straight up and have a little launcher right here here. Oh, nothing help in if it. we put a ball in it. <laughs> Dough. Okay, I'm not too smart. So here we go. We'll do that. Okay. Now, if you want it to go the same height, I push it down a little too far. Let's try that one more time. If you want it to go the same, okay, so here's the height for just one click. Okay, about this high. Right. Okay. Now, if we make this go off at an angle, like 45 degrees. This is a professional grade projectile launcher. It says it on the label right there. It certainly is. <laughs> professional now, grade. At an angle, it doesn't go nearly as high, does it? No. Because a part of its energy is just put into motion sideways, and so it doesn't reach the same height. So the ones that they shoot at an angle have to have a bigger charge so that they actually reach the same height okay. as the ones that they shoot straight upward. Now, I want to talk a little about explosives, because you have something in your hand, and I want you to set that thing off. Ooh. Now, that's pretty cool, isn't it? Cool. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't that, think you should let Robert have that. Right. That's, <laughs> he that, might be dangerous that with That was it. gun cotton, and that's Ooh. made by taking cellulose or cotton in this case and, and nitrating it, putting lots of nitrogen on it. And explosives all have nitrogen as a common element. And that's why when you go through the airport, when they wipe you and they look for chemical, chemicals for to nitrates. see if you're a bad guy, they look for nitrogen. So anyways, visit the website. I'm talking way too much, aren't I? I'm sorry. No, this and is... That's a good, a good fun. And we got to see right. Robert explode right. something. So but you that's... notice I did it and didn't go, eh, like somebody else did. Okay. Thank you for being right. here. If you have questions for Question. our wise guy, you can always uh, send them to our email address or call our feedback line. And don't forget the wise guy website online at wiseguy.com. Is there any more of that cotton stuff? Yeah, do you want to play with it? <laughs>